tonight, tonight, I stand here as your governor, and I am so proud to be your governor. Born in Newark, raised in Livingston. Made my wife from Pennsylvania, a real Jersey girl. And raised our family right here, right here in this amazing state. I love just as much as my mother and father raised me to love it. You see, what people have never understood about us is that I didn't need the introduction to all of you. I know you because I'm one of you. So tonight, first and foremost, I want to say thank you, New Jersey, for making me the luckiest guy in the world. And the only greatest honor and privilege than being a one-term governor of New Jersey is to be a two-term governor of New Jersey. We got to meet my kids again tonight. And Mary Pat and I are so proud of them. Andrew, Sarah, Patrick, and Bridget, I love you all. And over the last four years, but especially this year, New Jersey got to know what a special first lady they have. I love you, Mary Pat. I so spoke to Senator Bono a while ago. She could go, no, no, she congratulated me. It was very gracious. Very gracious in her congratulations, and I thank her for a spirited campaign and for her 20 years of public service to the state. four years ago. We stood behind a podium like this and said that people were tired of politics as usual. They wanted to get things done. And we promised we were going to go to Trenton and turn it upside down. And I think we've done just that. The people of New Jersey four years ago were downhearted and dispirited. They didn't believe that government could work for them anymore. In fact, what they thought, what they thought was that government was just there to take from them, but not to give to them, not to work with them, not to work for them. Well, four years later, we stand here tonight showing that it is possible to put doing your job first, to put working together first, to fight for what you believe in, yet still stand by your principles and get something done for the people who elected you. The biggest thing, the biggest thing I've learned over the last four years about leadership is that leadership is much less about talking than it is about listening about bringing people around the table, listening to each other, showing them respect, doing what needed to be done to be able to bring people together and to achieve what we needed to achieve to move our state forward. Now listen, I know that if we could do this in Trenton, New Jersey, maybe the folks in Washington, D.C. should tune in their TVs right now, see how it's done. We still fight, we still yell, but when we fight, we fight for those things that really matter in people's lives. And while we may not always agree, we show up. We show up everywhere. We don't show up just in the places that vote for us a lot. We show up in the places that vote for us a little. We don't just show up in the places where we're comfortable. We show up in the places where we're uncomfortable. Because when you lead, you need to be there. You need to show up. You need to listen.